So now that I've given you a very high level overview of the rack and sequencer, let's build our own rack. To do that, we're going to start by emptying out this one. We can close it by clicking the X or choosing close or command or control W. And opening up a song is just a matter of choosing new from the file menu or command N. And notice I can open up several songs. It's really nice to have multiple songs open at once. We'll close them all now. And I'm gonna to go to my preferences window. And if you recall from one of the earlier videos, this default song area lets me set what I want to open when I choose new. And I've set it for empty rack. So when we open up a new song, we're going to get, wait for it, an empty rack. So here we are in our empty rack. The only thing that's there is the hardware interface and the sequencer. These cannot be removed along with the transport and the navigation area. So I'm going to hide the sequencer. And remember, we can hide the transport if we want. Now, the first thing I need to add is a mixer, because otherwise my instruments will not make any sound. The easiest way to do that, and it's one of several ways, is to control click or right click in the black area of the rack, the empty area, and you will get a pop-up list here of all of our instruments and devices. We'll start by adding the mixer 14.2, 14 faders and two outputs, and there it is. You'll notice it's been labeled mixer one. I can double click that to rename it. Let's call it my mixer. And notice the tape changed. Isn't that nice? Now we can easily delete a device by pressing command and delete when that device is selected. And of course, I can undo that by using Command-Z or Control-Z on Windows. And there's also Command-Y, which brings things back, or redos. And there's a fairly large level of undos and redos that are supported in Reason. Now, I always know the selected device because of this blue square. If I hit Backspace without the command, I can delete this, but I get a little warning message. If I use Command or Control on Windows, I don't get that warning message. We keep adding and deleting this poor mixer, but I'm gonna do it again, this time using the tool window, which is over there, and I can get to it by pressing F8, which shows or hides the tool window. And in the tool window, on the first icon, I get all of my devices, and I can narrow those down so I'm seeing just instruments, just effects, or other devices like a mixer, and I can choose any combination. So there's my mixer. I'll turn them all back on for now and scroll down and we can either drag or double click one of these devices to add it to the rack. There, I just added two. You can have as many mixers as you want. Let's command backspace or command delete. And we are down to our one mixer, which once again, I'll rename. Now behind the scenes, when we added this mixer, Reason has cabled it up to my hardware interface. And remember, to see that, all I have to do is press the Tab key to flip the rack over. And there you see the dangling cables, which show that the stereo outs of my mixer, left and right, are connected to the first two output ports of my audio interface. So I will get sound. But of course, I don't have anything making the sound yet. I only have a mixer. And we've spent all this time adding and deleting mixers, but we haven't added any sound. So I'll control click in this black area here, the empty part of the rack, and we'll select the first instrument, which is called a subtractor. It's a simulation of an analog synthesizer. It has a mono output, but it's very, very powerful. Now, in my case, the default patch that came up, the default sound is a bass guitar. In fact, I will double click the masking tape next to my subtractor, change it to bass guitar, and let's play it back. Notice, by the way, that Reason has renamed the masking tape next to the fader where the bass guitar is plugged in. That's pretty nice. It's a really good idea to name all your devices as you're working with Reason. So I flipped the rack around and you can see that the subtractor has automatically been cabled from the main output to the left or first port of my mixer. There it is. And of course the masking tape was automatically applied there. 
Now, what if for some reason I don't want it in the first port, I want it in the tenth port? Look how easy it is to just drag that over. My fader is now number 10. The masking tape bass guitar label is there. Works like a charm. So that's a quick introduction to adding instruments in Reason.